Steve Chettle joins me at tonight's training session um, and today, this morning, we announced that we're going to be hosting Nottingham Forest here next Tuesday. A big game for us, Steve, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm delighted it's happened. Uh, it took some getting through, to be fair. Uh, obviously, Forest have been very busy finishing their last season and planning for this season. Uh, but it's something that McGarry and myself, Chris and Andy spoke about when they came down here for the County Cup. They were pleased how we worked and we wanted a relationship to go forwards. And obviously, this is part of that relationship as well, so we're delighted. What sort of team do you think they will send down to us? A good one. Uh, obviously the 23s won their league last year, their development league. Uh, whether they send any first team players down with the, uh, within the 23s group, I don't know. But no, we're looking forward to the game and it's like I say, it's a huge challenge uh, and a great honour for Forest to come down here to play against us. I think we've seen today the tickets went out on sale and we've got a 600 capacity. It's been up for the, you know, each game for, due to Corona, but we've now got 600 and it's pretty much sold out, hasn't it, already? I believe so. I think 300 tickets went in the first half an hour of sales, which was fantastic. And I know that season ticket holders have to be uh, accounted for as well within that 600. So, yeah, it's going, to be a, it's going to be a great night. Hopefully the weather will be nice and it won't have like it was two, two Tuesdays ago and uh, it'll be a good event. Uh, do you approach a uh, pre-season friendly against a team like Nottingham Forest any differently to you would one of the teams around our own level or is it just all yeah. approached the yeah, same Yeah, obviously way? we do. We, uh, obviously there will be better players than what we played earlier in the pre-season. Uh, obviously we stepped up our opponents on Saturday against Alfreton and Forest is another step up from Alfreton. So it's going to be a really tough game but you know we're looking towards the end of our pre-season schedule now and fine tuning for the Warrington game like I said in my programme notes of the day. Yeah, and um, just talking about injuries now, we, we've had, like you, you said this morning, you've struggled to put a full squad out every game because we've had little niggling injuries. Where are we on the injury front now with all the players? We've only got uh, Matt Thornhill, who's probably seven days away from training for, uh, fully and being match fit. Uh, we've got Alex Howes, who's got the end of an hamstring injury, he should be okay to train Thursday. And also James Clifton got a slight knock from Saturday, so he's ready Thursday, so really just Matt and at the end of next week we show everybody fit including Kane Richards. Do you think the, the long layoff from March until now has had a, a little bit of an impact in the, these little niggling injuries at the players? I don't think it's on? helped. Uh, we had a stop start pre-season like I said in the article on the website. Uh, we had six months off near enough in the end between matches. So you know we planned our pre-season, we had three weeks, we stopped because we didn't have an official start date. We started again in our pre-season earnest and that's where we picked up our little injuries. Some we can't help, some are impact injuries, uh, like Chet's and James's, James Take, but the soft tissue injuries, the hamstrings and the calves, you know, are possibly from not being used to the workload in uh, you know, such a long layoff. Yeah, and now that the season has been announced, we start on uh, 19th of September, how is that sort of the atmosphere in the changing room now amongst the players? Obviously we have a focus, you know, we, we're looking forward to the Warrington game and then we know we've got to go to Lancaster, we're not going to plan ahead of that so far. Uh, but like I say, it does sharpen your mind somewhat that you know your first fix on September the 19th. Uh, we'll get ready for that. That's brilliant. Cheers. Thanks for taking the time to chat. Always great.